Live from the news station, this is KTAL News Channel 6 at 6. Drivers had a holiday traveler's nightmare. Traffic slowed to a crawl and backed up for miles. An 18-wheeler hauling air conditioning and heating units split in half this morning on I-20. The truck hit an abandoned van on the shoulder of the highway. It all happened around 7 this morning. The truck's driver was hospitalized with non-life-threatening injuries. State police shut down the westbound lanes of the interstate from 220 to Airline Drive until just after 2.30 this afternoon. Certainly not what holiday travelers anticipated. News Channel 6's Shannon Slatton is live along I-20 tonight with reaction to this mess. Now, Sean, we are directly behind Pierre Beaujard Mall. The overpass where the accident happened directly behind us. That's what tied up traffic for so long today. Now, most of the families I spoke with were on their way to a destination somewhere in Texas, but their plans took a hit around mile marker 29. Their traffic slowed, stopping at times, but mostly just creeping along at around 20 miles per hour. At mile marker 26, traffic exited I-20 westbound to detour on I-220 westbound. By doing so, it missed all the wreckage, causing I-20 to look oddly empty. At most, delays lasted about 45 minutes, but that's still long enough for many. And traveling with two kids is not fun. Yeah, that'll probably delay us a little bit. Tell them where we're going. We're going Texas. to Texas. So Dude, close. So close <laughs> and yet so far away. <laughs> Now again, the interstate did open up shortly before 3 this afternoon, so in all, the interstate was closed for about 8 hours today on this, the busiest traveling day of the year. Live in Bossier City, Shannon Slott and KTAL News Channel 6. Yeah, of all the days, right? All right, <laughs> Shannon, thanks. And taking a look elsewhere, this is a live picture at Interstate 20 through our church cam. Traffic moving along, uh, going both directions. I-20 now over in Texarkana, the same story there. Traffic a little heavier, but the roads are holding up this evening and then moving down to South Texas. And for those heading to the Houston area tonight, Highway 59, which runs through Marshall, also looking pretty good. And across the nation, AAA estimates 36 million Americans will be traveling at least 50 miles from home for Thanksgiving. That would be the largest number of travelers since the 9-11 terror attacks. The credit goes to an improving economy and relatively friendly gas prices, which are about the same throughout the area. AAA reports the average price per gallon of unleaded is $1.42 in Shreveport, Bossier, and a buck 41 in Texarkana. That's about even with state averages. On the Neighborhood Crime Watch tonight, at the request of News Channel 6, Bossier City Police have decided to show the media surveillance video leading up to a police shooting at a Chevron off Benton Road, but they still haven't shown the public. News Channel 6 reporter Renee Marsh viewed the tapes. She's live in our studio tonight to tell us what she saw. Sean, last week, last week, two Bossier City officers shot a robbery suspect five times at a Chevron gas station. Today, Bossier City Police Chief Mike Halfin showed the media surveillance tape, tapes of events right before the shooting. Where do you... All I wanted was to have a calm city, a calm architect, and that we did not get back into um, uh, a community divided. And I don't want to have uh, visual images on TV of a man committing an armed robbery and trying to get a jury later on and people say. Chief Halfin says that's because the suspect pulled the wires from the surveillance camera and used them to tie the clerk up. Halfin says after the controversial police involved shootings like Marquise Hudspeth case, it was necessary to show the media what happened. Okay, Renee Marsh reporting. Thank you. Police have arrested a Texarkana man for raping an 84-year-old woman. 33-year-old Fred Bragg Jr. was arrested for the rape in September of 2002 in Texarkana, Arkansas. Since then, Bragg has been serving time for several other crimes. Detectives made Bragg a suspect after matching his DNA to evidence from the crime scene. The man who kidnapped a Nashville, Arkansas man has been charged with a variety of crimes, including murder. Scott Eisenberg has been charged with the October 18th shooting death of an elderly couple in Oklahoma. Sunday, Eisenberg allegedly kidnapped Dr. Sam Peoples in Nashville, Arkansas, when he caught a ride with the doctor and his wife. But Peoples ended up shooting Eisenberg with a gun he had in his van. Peoples says he's not a hero, he just did what he had to do. You can call this next one shoplifting on a grand scale. David Carlisle Jr. of Texarkana was arrested for allegedly stealing a Walmart trailer and everything inside it. 
Texarkana, Texas police found Carlisle stuck on Boston Road trying to pull the trailer. When they investigated, they found Walmart merchandise in a storage space he had rented. It was confirmed stolen from Palestine, Texas, and worth about $74,000. Now, still ahead here on News Channel 6 at 6, more money for the military. We'll tell you why an area depot is getting millions of dollars and what it plans to do with that money. Plus, we'll go live to Marshall for the celebration of the Wonderland of Lights this year. But right now, Todd will tell us just how things are warming up for the remainder of the week and the holidays. That's right, Sean. We are looking at uh, warm temperatures outside and that warmth and the humidity combining to produce some thunderstorms. Take a look at uh, SkyScan, show you the radar in motion during the day today. You can see the showers and thunderstorms developing over the southwestern sections of the area. Tornado watch in effect until 7 p.m., but another one likely will be issued. We'll talk about that, give you a closer look at the radar, and talk about what's ahead for the rest of the holiday weekend. All that's coming up in your forecast in just a few minutes. The News Station for Shreveport, Magnolia, and Center. You're watching News Channel 6 at 6. KTAL News Channel 6 closed captioning is brought to you by Christus St. Michael and Christus Shumpert Health Systems. This week on KTAL News Channel 6 at 10, troubleshooter Rich Demira takes the Great American Toy Test. We've got the top 16 best toys as rated by kids nationwide. Plus, we're donating $1,500 worth of toys tested to a neighborhood child care facility. What are the results? Join the Great American Toy Test this week on KTAL News Channel 6 at 10. KTAL News Channel 6 troubleshooter Rich DeMiro's TV product tests. One of the top three honored for best in-depth series in Louisiana by the Associated Press. Are you upside down in the car you own now? Do you owe more than it's worth? Then get to Or Mitsubishi today. We'll pay off your old car no matter how much you owe and get you into a brand new car with lower payments. Take a look at these great new cars and SUVs. You can trade your old car in for one of these today. Rebates up to $4,000 plus 0.9% financing for 72 months or 0% for 60 months. We'll pay off your old car, drive home in a new one today. Come see us at Or Mitsubishi in Texarkana. Check out these Christmas specials at Topps Trailers, Bossier City. This hunter special that holds three ATV trailers, only $16.50. Or this one with side doors, only $25 a month. Nothing down, no interest till May 2004. It's Christmas time at Topps Trailer Sales and Service. This is the big one, big one. The Mega Red Tag Sale at Champion Mitsubishi. Prices cut to the bone. No haggle, no hassle, no problem. Save $6,000 on new Mitsubishi Galants, Montero Sports, and Eclipses. $4,000 off the certified factory sticker on new Lancers and Outlanders. Plus, every new Mitsubishi comes with a 7-year, 100,000-mile warranty. Over $5 million available for special finance customers. The Mega Red Tag Sale. This week at Champion Mitsubishi in Three Sports Auto Mall. Check out these Christmas specials at Topps Trailers, Bossier City. This hunter special that holds three ATV trailers, only $16.50. Or this one with side doors, only $25 a month. Nothing down, no interest till May 2004. It's Christmas time at Topps Trailer Sales and Service. A severe weather approaches fast cast delivers to your desktop. Download at newschannel6.tv now. Live from the news station, Sean Patrick, Lane Stone, Chief Meteorologist Todd Warren in the Forecast Lab and Dave Foster with Sports. You're watching KTAL News Channel 6 at 6. Over in Marshall, they're dreaming of a bright Christmas. Lane Stone is live in Marshall for the Wonderland of Lights. Hi, Sean. Yeah, we are just moments away from the lighting of the old Harrison County courthouse in just a couple of minutes. They're going to light this place up. It is an amazing sight every year. This is the 17th annual year for the Wonderland of Lights, and it really has grown over the years. It just started out as kind of an idea between some neighbors in Marshall, and it has grown to the festival that it is today, and it's actually a huge economic impact for this part of the area. Uh, mil thousands of visitors come on, and we're counting down. They're about to light up. I'm going to step out. There it is, the old historic Harrison County Courthouse, all aglow here on the downtown Marshall Square. They're expecting thousands of visitors throughout this holiday season, and if you'd like to be one, you can just come on down to the square here in downtown Marshall. They offer bus tours, horse and buggy tours, and candlelight tours of homes. There's an information center in the southeast corner of the square, so come on down to Marshall. 
also an ice skating rink. A lot going on here. For now, reporting live in Marshall, I'm Lane Stone. Sean, now back to you. Well, I wish I was out there with you. Trust me, Lane. I it's wish beautiful. I was. It's beautiful. Come on down. All right. <laughs> Well, the good news keeps coming at the Red River Army Depot. Earlier this month, the base announced it plans to hire hundreds of new employees. And this week, lawmakers have agreed to millions of dollars to add to the facility, which, as News Channel 6's Jason Clark explains, it could pay for some big changes. Workers at the Red River Army Depot produce some of the most advanced vehicles to ever roll into battle. But their equipment and facilities aren't as cutting edge. So the depot is on a mission to change that. We want to be flexible enough to where we can work the track vehicles, we can work wheel vehicles, whatever they may be in any shape, form, or fashion. And they plan to do that by tearing down the old and constructing a state-of-the-art maintenance facility. Most of the buildings were built back in the 1940s here at the depot, so the hope is this new modern facility will give the base an edge when it comes to military readiness. It's an edge that Colonel Michael Cervone says can make all the difference during a time of war. And you don't just take a unit down and say, okay, um, and tell whoever your enemy is going to be, we're going to take a 12-month time out while we get this force ready for combat again. You don't have that kind of time, so we've got to be able to respond uh, uh, much more quickly in the future. Lawmakers doled out $2.9 million this week just for its planning and design. Congressman Max Sandlin helped secure the funding and says the new facility is a step in the right direction as 2005 approaches. And I think the more work that we get and the more that Red River is able to show uh, that it's a a very valuable part of our national defense, the more able we are to make a case to, to push back BRAC in 2005. But Cervone says the Army is interested in the present. Well, this, is the, this is not unlike being a coach in, in football. Okay, you won the Super Bowl last year, what are you doing for us this year? The hope is this new facility will help the depot be victorious when it comes to base closures in 2005. In Hooks, Jason Clark, KTAL News Channel 6. Officials hope to finish the planning and design phase in 2004 and start construction in 2008. Well, it has warmed up here over the past couple of days. It sure see. has. Temperatures today over 70 in a few yeah. locations. And as we look ahead to tomorrow, much of the same outside right now. A beautiful picture as we give you a look at what's uh, happening in Marshall. The wonderland of lights has been illuminated and uh, a nice evening to head to Marshall, at least for the next couple of hours. That could change, though, here as we work our way through the evening. Another tornado watch is possible. We'll talk about that in your forecast coming up next. The news station for Bossier City, Spring Hill and Foreman. You're watching News Channel 6 at 6. Our goal, every new Ford a thousand dollars less. Here's what I'm talking about, folks. Give it tomorrow. Brand new Rangers are six thousand dollars off. Two thousand four expeditions, seven thousand dollars off. We're champion Ford Bird Coons in the Auto Mall. You come and see it. Okay, honey. We'll see you soon. Bye. Are you sure about this, Dad? Oh yeah. She's gonna love it. Hi. Surprise! Should have gone to Haverty's. Time for a new look? Shop Haverty's after Thanksgiving sale, where friendly associates with decorating advice can help you do it right. Plus, no interest and no payments until April 2005. Haverty's makes it home. Here's the game plan. Sell every new Ford in our giant inventory for $1,000 less than anybody else in this part of the country. That's why brand new Explorers are $7,000 off. 2004 Expeditions, $7,000 off. Hey, we're champion Ford. You come and see us. less money. Our sporty new 2004 Hyundai Accents with all this are on sale for just $89.88 and that includes our famous 10-year or 100,000 mile warranty. Look, when you get more and pay less, you win at Roundtree Hyundai on Mansfield Road. Jim? Craig? You can always spot the person who gives scratch-off tickets for the holidays. Four new games from the Texas Lottery, like the instant win of $2 million spectacular. They make great gifts for just about anybody. Come on, scratch it! This 
week it's an end of November closeout sale at Roundtree Hyundai on Mansfield Road. New 2004 Elantras with all this and a 10-year warranty are just $10,988. And Hyundai owners, your price is just $99.88. Now through Saturday, you win at Roundtree Hyundai on Mansfield Road. And now, Todd Warren from the News Channel 6 Forecast Lab. Welcome back. You probably noticed the humidity increasing across the area today if you were outside, and that is going to lead to some thunderstorm activity. Let's give you a look at what's happening outside right now by way of the neighborhood next rad. And you can see the uh, showers and thunderstorms, especially over eastern Texas. Now, these are working their way towards the north and east at around uh, 30 miles per hour. And this motion will continue. In fact, you can see the thunderstorms uh, uh, at times have been on the heavy side over the southwestern sections of the area. You can see the uh, thunderstorms are proning, approaching Mount Enterprise, moving towards Long Branch, Dotson. Probably will pass just to the north of Timpson as they continue to work their way uh, towards the north and east. Elsewhere, we do have some more scattered showers popping up uh, just south of Mount Pleasant. You can see from Winsboro to just to the west of Gilmer, these working their way towards Mount Pleasant, Omaha, and Dangerfield. Just some uh, moderate and at times heavy rain associated with these, and these are also on the increase. Now, we do have a tornado watch, which is in effect for the uh, southeastern sections of Texas. Uh, this watch uh, covering about the southwestern quarter of our viewing area right in here. It expires uh, at 7 o'clock, but I do anticipate that we'll see another watch issued as these thunderstorms continue to increase over the western sections of our viewing area. Now from here, let's give you a look at temperatures. You can see one reason why we have the thunderstorms out there. It is warm and humid. 66 in Shreveport, 66 in Marshall, 66 degrees right now in Texarkana. You can see those dew points in the 60s. And whenever you get in the 60s this time of year, it is rather uh, humid outside, and that moisture is leading to those uh, thunderstorms that have popped up. Now, from here, let's give you a look at what happened earlier today with uh, Skylab 6 and the view from the Champion 4 neighborhood cam. And you can see those uh, uh, clouds that uh, did allow a few rays of sunshine to pass through from time to time uh, this afternoon. As we also did see a breezy south wind, which uh, ushered in all that moisture. Now, from here, Look at the general weather pattern across the country. And again, these are the upper level winds. And uh, notice that we have this trough right in here. And notice that the, the rainfall, for the most part, ahead of this trough and behind it with northwesterly winds, weather typically dry. And as we go through time, this trough is going to move into the eastern sections of the country. Northwesterly flow settles in. That'll dry us out and cool us off for the uh, uh, last half of the, what's left of the work weekend into uh, the weekend. So let's give you a look at uh, what's ahead of us here as we go through the next couple of days, as we go into tomorrow morning, still a possibility could see a little bit of rain over the eastern third of the area early tomorrow morning. That will quickly move on out. The clouds will gradually depart. Sunshine returns uh, late tomorrow, tomorrow afternoon. As we go through tomorrow night, expect to see clear skies, and we'll see the clear skies continue on into uh, Friday as well. And actually, we'll continue through the weekend and the first half of next week. So your forecast looks like this for tonight. The scattered thunderstorms will continue to increase. A few could be severe. Look for a low temperature tonight right around 62. Tomorrow, we will, we will see the clouds decrease. It'll be breezy but pleasant for your Thanksgiving with a high right around 71. Six-day planners showing that behind that system, we cool off into the upper 50s for daytime highs for Friday and Saturday. Lows cooling back down into the 30s. In fact, Saturday morning, another freeze on the way as we bottom out at 30 degrees, only to see temperatures go right back up into the mid to upper 60s by the time everybody heads back to work on Monday and Tuesday. So that roller coaster of temperatures that we talked yeah, about really. is going to continue. Does Arkansas smell upset? Well, uh, you know, they're thinking about it, absolutely. Yeah, yeah the uh, Hogs and the Tigers are, uh, you know, they're going to play in uh, Baton Rouge on Friday, day before Saturday, usual day, of course, but they're going to play a big game, and Puck is going to pick it. We'll see who's picking it. The news station for Marshall, Plain Dealing, and Cotton Valley. You're watching News Channel 6 at 6. In Shreveport, you want local weather from a local source. Get it from the KTAL News Channel 6 Forecast Lab on your favorite Cumulus radio stations. Mix 102.9, All American Country 101.1 KRMD, 99.7 KMJJ, and Super Talk 1340. Come listen to a story about a man named Ted. Lives in Texarkana, him thinks his truck is red. Went up to Westgate, let him get it all clean. And what do you know? It came out green. Two-tone, that is, Texas plates and aluminum wheels. Now his friends all said, Ted, you're a superstar. But better change your oil or you ain't going far. Said Westgate Car Wash is the place you want to be. Get your oil changed and your wash will be free. Come on in, set a spell, kick your shoes off. Y'all come back now, here. At Or Chevrolet, there's always over 150 vehicles to choose from. So we've got what you want today at a price you want to pay. 
from basic transportation starting at just five hundred dollars to 2003 models priced thousands less than a brand new vehicle whatever you're looking for it's here check out our manager special bargains less than ten thousand dollars right on the windshield for the pre-owned selection you want and prices that can't be beat race to or chevrolet in texarkana you always get more East Texas Coin & Bullion, we have over 30 years experience buying, selling, and appraising all types of precious metals, coins, and currency. If you want it, we'll find it. If you've got it, we'll buy it. No one in the four states area can offer more knowledgeable service or more competitive pricing. Call East Texas Coin & Bullion and turn your coins into cash. The more you discover about the Hyundai Elantra, the more it makes sense. It's loaded with standard features like AC and power everything. Plus, only Hyundai has America's best warranty, 10 years, 100,000 miles. It's $1,600 less than a Honda Civic LX when comparably equipped. In fact, the 2004 Hyundai Elantra starts at just $12,889. When your car makes this much sense, you win. See Roundtree Hyundai on Mansfield Road today for great deals on 2003 Hyundais. A severe weather approaches fast cast delivered to your desktop. Download at newschannel6.tv now. Wheel of Fortune is coming your way right after KTAL News Channel 6. But now, here's tonight's KTAL News Channel 6 Viewers Club Grand Giveaway winning number. Guaranteed for $1,000. It may be worth 50 grand more. One, four, eight, zero, zero, nine. Call 866-665-6000 the next business day to claim your prize. Remember, you have to call us. It's the Viewers Club Grand Giveaway. Stay tuned, Wheel of Fortune is coming your way next here on KTAL News Channel 6. Come take a spin on Wheel of Fortune yeah! and look out for Wheel's 250K giveaway beginning December 8th. Tonight at 6.30 on News Channel 6. And now, News Channel 6 Sports with Dave Foster. Well, you know, something strange always seems to happen in the LSU-Arkansas series. First of all, the two teams play for that odd golden boot type thing, which Arkansas got to cart away last year after a last-second victory that sent the Hogs to the SEC championship game. This year, Arkansas can't make the championship game, but LSU is looking to put the wraps on the SEC West Division title with a victory. Tigers head coach Nick Saban's concern about the game begins with athletic Arkansas quarterback Matt Jones. Uh, when you do get him covered, he takes off running, uh, and uh, they've got some good skill guys, good receivers. Cobb's a good running back. Uh, this is a really good football team. It's going to take one of our best efforts of the year probably to uh, have the kind of success that we'd like to have in the game. So who will win the game? Well, we could sit here forever and debate whether the LSU defense will be able to stop Matt Jones and the Arkansas offense and whether the Hogs defense will be able to slow down LSU's high-scoring offense. But why do that when you can go to the source when it comes to pigskin predictions and hear it straight from the horse's, I mean, the dog's mouth? Well, the LSU Tigers did win last week, so Puck was right again. 10-3 and three on the season, a remarkable record. But LSU is going to have to try once again to run the gauntlet that is Puck's pick as LSU and Arkansas play this week. And we have helping out a couple of special guests, Lane Stone and Shannon Slatton from News Channel 6. They've come outside, right outside the back of the station today. Lane is from Louisiana. Shannon is from Arkansas. And first, let's get your opinion. Lane, why are the Tigers going to win? You know, we've got a lot riding on this game this weekend. Uh, LSU's been playing really focused. I think they're going to pull it out, win this weekend, go to the SEC Championship next weekend, pull it out there. And we're crossing our fingers for the Sugar Bowl. Lane, of course, went to LSU. Shannon is from Delight, Arkansas, town of 300. <laughs> or around 300, 299 now that you've left. Why are the Hogs going to win? Well, we've got Matt Jones, quarterback, great passer. A Razorbacks have been on a roll the past four games, done really well. And one thing about the Razorbacks, they are unpredictable. They lose games, we think they're going to win, but they also win games. Sometimes they're the underdogs, so we're in for a good game. Well, it has been an interesting series lately. Uh, Arkansas won last year in the final minute of the game. They have won four in a row, but LSU right now ranked three in the country has a lot at stake. Now, this is very simple. We're going to let Puck go, and he's going to go to one of them and make his 
pick and he's going and it's LSU. Puck says the Tigers will win in Baton Rouge and that they will win the SEC West and go on to Atlanta. Here is Henderson and he well, there you go. Puck likes the Tigers. If you were Dave or ever sick, you know who can fill in for you oh, guys. Puck can sit right either, here. Oh, or either of those two ladies. Oh, was, I thought you were so Puck. well versed on sports. <laughs> no, Puck is just the, the gambling type for Vegas. Next, forget about football. We've got the real game of Thanksgiving. Jones, don't just tell your family where you're taking the turkey. The news station for Texarkana, Natchitoches, and Ruston. You're watching News Channel 6 at 6. This week, it's an end of November closeout sale at Roundtree Hyundai on Mansfield Road. New 2004 Elantras with all this and a 10-year warranty are just $10,988. And Hyundai owners, your price is just $99,88. Now through Saturday, you win at Roundtree Hyundai on Mansfield Road. Folks, Friday and Saturday at Hank's. Not one red cent till 2005 or a discount equal to your sales tax. Natuzzi nail head leather sofas, 822. Formal dining rooms in Cherry, 833. Top grain leather rocker recliners, 359. Victorian Cherry, five piece bedrooms, 922. Wall to wall sale, Friday 9 to 9, Saturday 9 to 7 at Hank's Fine Furniture. In the wild, big game hunters never know what's round the bend. They all agree there's not a more thrilling sight than the new Ford F-150. It's got more horsepower, towing power, and the strongest frame of any full-size truck. This month at McLaren, you can bag one of these beauties for yourself. Get special deals and register to win one of several gift certificates from Walmart. If you're hunting for the best new truck, the bug stops here. McLaren Auto Mall in Texarkana, home of the new F-150. Good deal, mate. We should talk. You know I've loved you for years, but now there's something new in my life. But I promise you will always be my first love, okay? At Schlotzky's, home of the original sandwich, there's definitely a lot more to love. So go ahead, spread your wings with our terrific selections of fresh tossed salads, creative sourdough pizzas, and toasted wraps. Schlotzky's, funny name, serious sandwich. Or maybe we should say serious food. Don't worry, I'll be back. Here's the concept, more car for less money. Our sporty new 2004 Hyundai Accents with all this are on sale for just $89.88. And that includes our famous 10-year or 100,000-mile warranty. Look, when you get more and pay less, you win at Roundtree Hyundai on Mansfield Road. Satellite services provided by L&W Satellite. My dad and I have been in the septic business for over 40 years. Most people become aware of their septic system when they have a problem. We have seen damages done that could have been avoided. It absolutely makes sense to use Red X once a month. Red X uses 100% natural bacteria and enzymes to break down hard to dissolve waste and help prevent backups between pumpings. We've always recommended Red X and we've seen it actually work. From the news station, you're watching News Channel 6 at 6. Very comfortable weather. Comfortable weather, but potentially stormy weather. As you look at neighborhood next right, you can see the showers and thunderstorms over East Texas. These moving toward the, towards the northeast. A tornado watch in effect until 7 p.m. for East Texas, but another one could be issued here once that one expires in the next half hour. All right, thank you, Todd. Finally, on the eve of Turkey Day, the ultimate humiliation. And handful of Shreveport fowl didn't make it to the roaster. They were rolled down the grocery aisle instead. At the Shreveport Grocery Outlet, locals bowled the day away with frozen turkeys. They battled for the title of 2003 Turkey of the Year, among other prizes. Of course, in the great game of turkey bowling, everyone is a winner. And, oh, nice. He'll get the spare. I guarantee it. That'll do it. Wheel of Fortune is next. Good form. Yeah. Those aren't light. KTAL News Channel 6 Closed Captioning is brought to you by Christus St. Michael and Christus Schumpert Health Systems.